I'm going to talk real quickly about uh, syncing with iTunes. So I'm going to pull up my computer here and then plug in my iPad. So the same cable you use to charge your iPad to the wall can be plugged into your computer to charge it, but also to sync it. <clears throat> so here I am in iTunes. Over here in the left-hand column under Devices, my iPad has appeared. And this isn't the actual computer I sync my iPad with, but I can still show you the interface. Uh, so I don't want to do this because I'm synced with another library. <clears throat> okay. So here I can get basic information about my iPad. I can update the software. I can also manage backups. So by default, we've set your iPads to backup to a computer. So you have no backup unless you plug it into your computer. Also, the first time you plug it in, you'll be prompted to set a password on your backup because it will be encrypted. So your backups only occur when you physically plug into your computer. You don't have any backups in between then. So if you do a lot of important work, you should probably plug in on a regular basis. You also have the option to back up to iCloud. That's another feature where it backs up wirelessly, no computer involved. <clears throat> but there are some tabs up here at the top for settings for info, but most importantly, apps and other content. So here's what I was talking about when I was discussing uh, moving your apps around. This interface will allow you to use your mouse on the computer to add additional screens, move apps around, create folders, add and remove apps from your iPad. Might be a little bit quicker if you want to do a lot of rearranging at one time. <clears throat> if you have other data in iTunes that you want to sync, like your music, movies, TV shows, uh, or your photos from your photo library, you can do that from here as well. And at the bottom, it shows me a little uh, status of my iPad and the capacity and the types of things I have on it. Question? What's the difference between the um, iTunes app and the music app? So the iTunes app on the iPad is the iTunes store. So that's purchasing things. Okay. The music app and the movies app are where the content you download from that store, that's where they live, really. That's where you go to view a movie or play a song. On the computer, iTunes is kind of like all in one, right? right? So you go there to listen to music, view movies, and purchase that so, content. So my library is in the music app. Right, gotcha. right. Okay. iPad, you have the iTunes store, the app store, right. iBooks, videos, and music, <clears throat> all separate. On the computer, they kind of throw them all together. So that's iTunes on your Mac or PC.